In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at envelope distort. We're going to have a look at making the envelope distort with a mesh and make with the top object. I'll go through both of those first and then we'll work on a little project together to practice some of those skills and also have a re-look at our pen tool and how to use that. So the first thing I'd like you to do is come over to your type tool, we're going to draw ourselves a text box and in here let's write the word awesome. I'm going to highlight this and just um, size it up a little bit. I'm just going to leave it as Myriad Pro but you can change it to whatever you like. So with this selected, the first way I'll show you is with a mesh. So I'll come up to Object, Envelope Distort, Make with Mesh. My advice would be to keep your rows and your columns quite low. It's much easier to manipulate um, just a few rows and columns than having too many. So in this I'd like to make two rows and two columns. And it's always great to have your preview selected so you can see what you're doing. I'm going to select OK. So I'll just uh, zoom in a little bit here so we can see what we're working on. Now with my direct selection tool over here, I can start manipulating this type. I can grab these um, anchors and move them out. Or I can move them in. And you can see that it's actually distorting the type within. I can also come in with my anchor point tool and manipulate some of these handles here to create some interesting shapes. Have a bit of a play with that and see what kind of interesting things you can do with your type. Uh, now this has a mesh effect on it but if I double click you can actually see here my type is um, still within my mesh. So I can actually um, come in here with my type tool, I've just double clicked on that, highlight it and I can write a different word. I'm going to write the word fancy. And you can see now, it made the word fancy into the mesh that I had um, created before, which is really interesting. So I'm going to show you now how to make a word with the top object with an envelope distort. So I'm going to come back in here, draw myself a text box. Let's use fancy again. And this time I will create an object. This time let's make it, make a rectangle use my direct selection tool here to bring these corners up. So I've just kind of got this interesting shape here. Now with both selected, I need to have my object on top, but I can come into Object, Envelope Distort, Make with Top Object. That's what we're doing this time. And you can see here that Illustrator has my words, my word underneath Fancy and has made it with the top object to make an envelope distort and the object that I'd created on top um, now has that shape within it. Now we can do something different. Let's, um, let's use the ellipse tool here. I'm going to draw a circle and I might write the word fish in here. I might actually remove the H and just have the FIS that I want to envelope mesh with the circle and I'm going to create a uh, copy this text box over here <clears throat> and make this an H in here and I'm going to just make a little triangle I might make it with my pen tool um, and we'll make the H the tail and we'll see see what happens all right so I need to make sure that my type is sent to the back because I'm going to use the envelope mesh make with top object. So to do that I right mouse button click arrange centre back. So now I have my two shapes with my type underneath. I'll do this side first. So with both selected, I can see they're both selected because uh, I can see the bounding box on both of them. I'm going to come up to object, envelope distort, make with top object. And I'll do the same with this one. I've got the H and the triangle selected, object, envelope distort, make with top object. And you can see now here I've got this kind of interesting uh, word I've created. So it's quite an interesting tool to have a play with. I'll just delete these off my artboard now because we're going to work on a project um, using those techniques we've just learned um, to create an interesting piece of art. I'll just make sure that's kind of nicely in my pasteboard over here. Now what I'd like to do is using my pen tool I'm going to draw a line around my keep cup and then I would like to 
write the words never forget and I'm going to use envelope distort with a mesh to make them go inside my keep cup um, just as something interesting and dynamic. So here we go, I'm going to use my pen tool, I might speed this bit up but you can um, watch me as I go. Okay, so I've done a bit of a rough job there of outlining everything. I'm now going to just make um, them different colours. So I'll just move my um, panels around here so I can see what I'm doing. I'd like uh, to have no stroke and this will be a light grey. I might make the lid green. Grey plug. And this is just a little bit of light that's bouncing, so I could just make that um, a sort of a lighter green. I might actually make it white. Um, and this is a bit dark grey, so I'm kind of lighten Oop, that up a bit. Let's do it on the film. There we go. Okay, so now that I have my keep cup um, drawn, I can actually delete that reference image. And I can see I've got this weird kind of gap there, so I'm actually going to come in with my direct selection tool and just bring this up a little bit here. So that's not there. And you can see because of the hierarchy of the order that I made my drawing in, um, this shape underneath uh, is being obscured by the top image. So I don't have to have that really neat at the top. You can see here that doesn't need to be neat at the top because it's being covered by the image on top, the shape on top. Okay, so I'd really like to write the words never forget um, inside my keep cup. And I'm going to do those in two separate boxes. So I'm going to write this one in here, never. It's my first oops, text box. And then another one with forget. Now I had a typeface that I really wanted to use for this, which is called Jackie Show, but you can use whatever you like. So I'm just going to come up here and pop that one in. Now because I'm going to use the mesh, it's a lot easier if you start off with the words vaguely around the size you'd like them to be. That means you're not then trying to resize it up in every point. So I'm just going to come up here and um, make these a bit bigger. Alright, so I'm going to vaguely put them where I want them to be. And then up to object, envelope distort, make with mesh. Again, I'll go with two columns and two rows and the same with this one make with mesh two columns two rows and now I can come in here with my direct selection tool and manipulate the words a bit So I don't think I need to do too much more than that. I think that's looking quite effective how I want it. I might like them make them white though. So I'll just come in the way I might do that now that I'm happy with them is actually expand them. So I'm going to select them both, come up to object, expand. Do the same with this one. Object, expand. Okay. <clears throat> so now instead of them with the mesh over the top, these are actually shapes on their own. I'm going to have them both selected and I can come in and make them white. Excellent. Now I think on my keep cup I'd also like to just have some nice sort of crests coming up the side so I might do that with my um, paintbrush tool. I'll just make sure that I've got, let's go with this same green, I'm going to come up and just draw just some interesting kind of leafy bits on here. You can do the light though, it's easy enough to do the elements. I'm just going to have one of these on each side but um, because they're separate shapes, uh, separate paths, I'm going to group them together. So to do that I go Command G. And now I'm going to 
Command copy, Command V, pop it on the other side, but I'd like to reflect it. So to do that, I right mouse button click, transform, reflect. So it's good to have your preview on so you can see you're doing the right thing. Okay, move that over here. Might just make these a little bit smaller. Might also make them to take down the opacity a bit lighter. There we go. What I'd also like to do in this little uh, poster that I'm doing is uh, a little banner down the bottom. I quite like to use banners in my work. Uh, and I'm going to put uh, a little hashtag on there, which is um, salute the reuser. So I'm going to come in. The way I like to do banners is I start off with um, a stroke. I could do a nice little bezier curve here, maybe make it kind of nice and round. Here. Okay. Now before I add too much to this stroke, I'll just make it with no stroke and no fill. I'm going to copy this command C onto my clipboard because I'm going to need it again in a minute um, to use to type on a path. But at the moment with the one that is on my artboard, I'd like to add some weight to the stroke. I'm probably needing about 30. I'll start at 20 and see. Yeah, I'd like to make that a bit bigger. So I might just bump it up here. Or maybe 27. 27 looks quite good. Um, now, I would like to expand this so that instead of it being a stroke, it's actually a shape around the outside of this path. The way I do that is I come up to Object, Path, Outline, Stroke. Said we would need that path again. I've got it on my clipboard. Now I can come in and I can paste it on top. The command for that is Command F. And you'll see here, I now have that path that we were using before. I'm just going to move it down a little bit and I can come up to my Type on a Path tool. I hold down the Type tool, which is this one here. I'm going to click at the beginning of that path. Now it will automatically, it will automatically put in the type that I had before, the size and font that I had selected. So I need to change that. But um, I'll just start by making it a smaller um, point size. I'm going to use paper cube for this one, but again, you can use what you like. Um, in here. There we go. Might make it white. I think that'll go quite nicely there. Excellent. So there's a couple of other things that I need to add on to my little banner here. Um, and I'm just going to put some little um, flags, sort of shapes at the end. So to do that, I'm going to use my pen tool. I just come out here, make a cute little, little triangle end. Might put in a small bezier there. And I'll make this that green for now. Um, but I'll change it up in a minute. I'm going to send it to the back, arrange. Center back, copy it over to my other side, arrange, whoop, transform, reflect. Okay, I'm going to just change the opacity of this a little bit here. I'll actually make this whole thing a little bit bigger. So the way I can do that is hold down shift and option and it'll resize it all together, which is quite nice. Now I just want to put in a couple of extra little triangles here. I'll use my pen tool for that. Just make it a slightly darker green like it's a shadow. The same on this side. There we go. I always can manipulate these points if I wanted them to come out a little bit more. They're quite nice. Excellent. So I can have a bit more of a play with this. I can move this a little bit until I'm happy with it. Excellent. Well, thanks for watching this little tutorial on the envelope to store, and I hope you enjoyed this project.